So, you want to make a crown? Well, step one, become part of the royal family. Hey guys, welcome back to Touched by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back once again in Blender 2.8 Eevee once again, and we're making a crown today because I figure you guys asked for a lot of modeling tutorials, you guys have been asking for modeling, so I figure we'll go ahead and do something super simple today, um, and get a, a crown done. So we got a lot of stuff to do, I'm gonna hit delete to delete our cube, because we don't need that, I'm actually gonna select our lamp. And scroll on out and hit G to move that lamp about right here, maybe. I'm going to grab our camera. I'm also going to delete on that because we don't need that. But obviously, if you're rendering your scene, you're going to need to keep that camera. But just for today's tutorial purposes, I'm going to get rid of the camera. So, I'm going to hit Shift A and we're going to add in a circle right there. And before we do anything else, I want to go ahead and down go down here to this Add Circle button and change this from 32 vertices to 64. Hit Enter on that. Now, we can go ahead and we can hit S to scale this up just a little bit, um, and then hit Tab to go into Edit Mode, and hit E to extrude our vertices, and then instead, bef uh, uh, until we do it, before we do anything else, rather, is what I'm saying, hit S to scale these inwards a little bit, just, just something, maybe like that, not too thick, not too thin, looks pretty good. Now, I'm going to double tap A to make sure everything is selected, everything's orange, then we'll go ahead and hit E to extrude this up. Now you can see uh, we have something that looks pretty good like that. Now that might be a little bit too too tall. We might as well just maybe do something like that. Yeah, I think that's good. Cool. Cool. All right. I think what I want to do is now we're going to go ahead and go to face select mode up here at the top here and hit 7 on my numpad to go into the top facing view. Now we can go ahead and select. Okay, let's do every other one because I'm I'm curious to see I'm curious to see what this looks like with the smaller kind of crown, whatever you want to call it on the top. It looks like the top of a castle, you know, which is fitting because it's like, a, you know, a, a, a crown. Um, but whatever those are called, whatever these peaks are called. So now we have all those selected. I'm going to hit E to extrude these up like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, I think it looks much better. Yeah, yeah, it looks much better than what I tested. All right, cool, sweet. So, uh, I like that quite a bit. We're going to go ahead and hit E to extrude those up like I just did. Uh, now we can hit Tab to go back out of edit mode. Now, I'm going to go up to Object and change this to Shade Smooth. Now, you can see it looks pretty terrible. So, I'm going to go to uh, this tab right here, which is the Object Data tab. Go to Normals and then check Auto Smooth. And then, you know, we're, we're fine now. So, we look good. Um, I think I also want to maybe... With all those selected hit, mm, let's do this. Let's go up to uh, this button right here and then change to individual origins. Now, if I hit S, you can see it kind of scales together on its own like that, which I really kind of like. Um, maybe just in a, hmm, yeah, let's, let's scale it down. Let's hit S, zero. We scale it down completely so it's it's scaled to zero, which I really like. It looks really cool, like uh, like not sh not not like shark teeth, but it definitely looks pretty neat. And maybe do I want to pull those up actually a little bit more? Ooh, maybe it's like a maybe it's like a high king crown. I don't know. Maybe that's a little too tall. All right, cool. Uh, I really like the way it looks. Now, what we're gonna do is I want to go ahead and do a really simple golden material really quickly before we get this thing uh, finished completely. Now, I'm gonna go to material, uh, sorry, rendered tab up here, the rendered viewport shading up with these four dot circles up here. Rendered, and then we can go to the material tab, drop this down, hit material, and then we can go ahead and grab the base color, and make that a nice little, little, little golden yellow. Turn that all the way up. I'm going to turn metallic up because that's going to give us a nice, like, metal look. And I'm also going to turn a sub a specular all the way up and roughness down quite a bit. Now, uh, maybe metallic can go up a little bit more, actually. Maybe just a little bit. Um, all right, cool. So, now let's grab a lamp real quick and just move this kind of close. Uh, I don't think that's very... That's, I don't think that's shiny enough. We're going to turn metallic all the way up and turn the roughness... Uh, you know, I'll turn, the, I'll turn the roughness up a little bit more. So, maybe around 2... 0.25 for the roughness. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Uh, now, what I do want to do is this doesn't have very much detail in it. It's kind of smooth and whatever. I mean, it's it's nice. It's simple. I, I like simple things. But I do want to do something a little bit different today. So, I'm going to go to material mode just so we can have a better look, which that looks amazing already by, itself, by itself already anyway. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode. And then I'm going to hold down shift and alt and select this entire ring of, uh, of, of squares here. So, I'm going to hit... Uh, I to inset this and kind of make it go down like that. Um, about right there, maybe. Hit E to extrude, but hit S 
to, to extrude it inwards. So E then S right afterwards. Now we have that kind of little inset thing going on, which looks really nice. I'm also going to do that one more time. So I hit I to inset that again, just a small little tiny bit. And then E and then hit S to uh, pull it back out again. We'll pull it back out slightly, just so it has that little tiny rim there, as you can see. Maybe a little bit more than that, actually. Yeah, 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 something like that. I think it looks really cool. A little bit like that. Cool. One more time. I to inset. I'm going to do a really big inset this time. Like I have a nice little uh, strip. Hit E and then S to scale it inwards. This one might scale in a little bit more. We don't want to go too far because we're going we're gonna to hit the back of the crown now. Uh, so we'll do something like that, I suppose. Yeah, and we have that nice little layer in there, which looks really cool. Maybe I want to um, actually, with this layer selected, I'm going to hit plus right here. And then we're going to create a new material. And this new material is going to be a red color. Red like that. Then we're going to hit Assign. That looks good. Looks kind of like uh, maybe a little velvety. Uh, I also kind of want to turn the metallic up on that just a little tiny bit. Um, maybe the specular all the way up and the roughness. Ooh, the roughness all the way down looks really cool. Yeah, I like that. The roughness all the way down makes it look like it's like ruby or something. That's very neat. I enjoy that quite a bit. So I think that's going to be it. Our, our, that's it for our crown. I really like the way this looks. I don't want to go like too crazy. I might do something with the inside. Same thing. So shift alt. Uh, inset, but this time we'll go inwards instead. So E to extrude, S to scale it inwards a little bit, and same thing. I down E to extrude, S to scale it inwards this time. So just like two little lips there. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe the inside will be gray. So we'll do another one. Hit this plus, create a new material. Turn the metallic all the way up, specular all the way up, roughness almost all the way down. Hit a sign. And then we'll go ahead and get a grayish color. Maybe add a little bit of blue in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks awesome. So like I'm saying, we're going to go ahead and uh, end this tutorial off with a nice little beveling on some of these edges here. Now, I would suggest doing this for all of the edges because I don't want them to be super sharp like they are. But for today, we're only going to do a couple of the edges. So I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode. And then we're going to go make sure we're on edge select mode. And I'm going to go ahead and hold down shift and alt to select an entire edge here. And then hit control B to bevel. Uh, and then scroll my mouse wheel to kind of bevel things. And then kind of make it super small like that. So it's not like really big and round like that because it looks kind of weird. Actually, it looks kind of good for the bottom actually. I'll leave that like that for the bottom. Um, and I'll do the same thing on the inside as well. This could be a tedious process, but it definitely is worth it um, for some specific uh, projects as is this one so it rounds off some of those edges gives it a nice little look to it more realistic look I'm gonna do these two at the same time so they're the same and this as well I don't want these to be too different from each other so I'm gonna do them all at the same time hold down uh, no, hold down uh, can uh, ship control B geez control B scroll my mouse wheel up a little bit and you can see we can just round those edges off like that have a nice little rim uh, on there as well and the same thing for these as well you can do all these individually and you can see you have a really nice uh looking rounded edge i'm gonna go kind of big with this yeah so we can actually go ahead oh i didn't think i was gonna like this little edge piece right here but i really like that actually that looks really cool oh but i believe that if you don't want that you could probably just uh inset this first uh or extrude it first sorry and then scale it in and then probably bevel it wait no backwards 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 there we go uh, inset and then bevel. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I went ahead and finished up the beveling on a few more of the edges. I really, really like this one quite a bit. I hope you. I missed a couple of these edges. I just realized that. Well, don't miss a couple edges, and you, you, you'll you'll be fine. But you, you see, I I missed a few now. You see, but there we go. Uh, there and there, and then we control B, and I think we're all set. I I missed. Well. All right. Well, anyway, you guys get the picture. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. This looks really cool. Um, I really do enjoy this one quite a bit. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.